detoxification is the golden key to heal any disease and you often remind the lymphatic system and his important role but most of the people ignore its existence so can you explain us what is the concept of detoxification and what is the lymphatic system this a, that is probably the best question you could have ever asked because in our world there's a theory that the medical community made up called diseases when you apply that theory there's nothing in that theory about diseases that has any truth to it so when they say cancer and they have different names for problems as a chemist and as a physicist i'm going to look at the science of why someone is suffering what causes tumors what causes the body to have inflammation and so you have to kind of look at the two sides of chemistry i think everybody every young child should be taught the two sides of chemistry and the nature of the two sides there's only two sides like there's only male and female right so there's only two sides of chemistry male and female now there's in between there's all kinds of levels but there's male and there's female so understanding the nature of acids and the nature of bases or alkalis i think is important and understanding a little bit of how the foods are the chemistry of foods how what they their effect upon your body i think that's all very important stuff to learn but what since medical doctors are not chemists they are not learned about how the foods work in the body the chemistry of foods and things they made up this concept of diseases but if you take that back and you look at all their their names of diseases all it is is acidosis in different areas of the body causing different problems with those tissues and factors that's all it is and you can apply that theory and work with detoxification and it cleans everybody up now to understand detoxification is simple there's two sides of chemistry the acid side of chemistry is the corrosive side it is the aggressive side this planet is not an acid planet it's moving that way but it is not an acid planet because nobody no human no animal and very few plants can live on an acid planet so the predominance of chemistry on this planet is base chemistry or alkaline chemistry right that is hydrating and healing so when you look at different foods that man eats some foods are acid forming foods and some foods are alkaline forming foods the bulk of the vertebrates the humans all the animals the bulk of them except for cats the carnivores are alkaline food eaters in other words the food that they eat has an alkaline or rehydrating effect upon the body the cat family is the only family that eats the acid forming foods which is meat and of course there's beans and there's other foods that are acid forming but because of that cats are totally different in their milks they sleep 20 22 hours a day imagine you only have 24 hours in a day and you sleep 22 of them because your diet doesn't give you any energy protein is not an energy food so they 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 don't have a lot of energy quick spurts of endurance and that's it Yeah. So man has to learn that the two sides of chemistry is vital and that the food you eat must have a hydrating or an alkaline effect which matches your blood chemistry. So for the for when you look at the human body you ask yourself how did God make it to deal with each side of chemistry because the acid side of chemistry will tear the human body apart as you've seen. So how does your body deal with the acid side of chemistry and that's what the medical community is still confused over. And the word that comes in there is the great lymphatic system. It is the sewer system of the human body that is the acid removal system of the body. Blood can't remove acids because it's base chemistry. And it's as simple as that. And so when you look at the body and its responses and everything you'll see that when you eat acid your body now has to steal inside of it things that are alkaline like calcium. So when people eat high acid diets they lose all their calcium, their bones fall apart, their tissues get inflamed and full of pain, tumors start forming, kidneys don't filter. All of those things happen under the acid sky.